Do you want to become a U.S. citizen? These are the 100 official questions for the civics test with easy to remember answers. The questions will be in random order, which will help you learn them better and maximize your chances of passing the test. These are the 100 official civics questions from USCIS. The officer will ask you 10 of these 100 questions and you must answer six of them correctly to pass the test. And remember, this is an oral test, no multiple choice. You will see that some questions have different possible answers. You will only need one answer unless the question asks for more than one. Also, some questions are about current public officials. For example, who is the president of the United States? So the answers may change because of elections or appointments. Are you ready? Let's go. Question 33. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Four, five. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Ninety eight. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. 24. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. 99. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. 11. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy market economy. 63. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. 10. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion, or not practice a religion. 3. 1. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. 39. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Visit USCIS.gov slash citizenship slash test updates for the number of justices on the Supreme Court. The link and information in the description below. 13. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress Legislative President Executive The Courts Judicial. 81. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. 35. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. 20. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents and residents of U.S. territories should answer that D.C., or the territory where the applicant lives, has no U.S. Senators. 56. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. 23. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. 
Residents of territories with non-voting delegates or resident commissioners may provide the name of that delegate or commissioner. Also acceptable is any statement that the territory has no voting representatives in Congress. 37. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws explains laws resolves disputes, disagreements, decides if a law goes against the Constitution. 14. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances separation of powers. 4. What is an amendment? A change, to the Constitution, an addition, to the Constitution. 69. Who is the, father of our country? George, Washington. 26. We elect a president for how many years? 4 years. 94. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. 55. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote to join a political party help with a campaign join a civic group give an elected official your opinion on an issue call senators and representatives publicly support or oppose an issue or policy run for office write to a newspaper. 27. In what month do we vote for president? November. 9-5. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York, Harbor, Liberty Island, also acceptable are New Jersey, near New York City, and on the Hudson, River. 9. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life Liberty Pursuit of Happiness 29. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Visit USCIS.gov slash citizenship slash test updates for the name of the Vice President of the United States. 57. When must all men register for the Selective Service? At age 18 between 18 and 26. 43. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that D.C. does not have a governor. 1. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. 6. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech Religion Assembly Press Petition the Government. 46. What is the political party of the President now? Visit USCIS.gov slash citizenship slash test updates for the political party of the president. 36. What are two cabinet level positions?
Secretary of Agriculture Secretary of Commerce Secretary of Defense Secretary of Education Secretary of Energy Secretary of Health and Human Services Secretary of Homeland Security Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Secretary of the Interior Secretary of Labor Secretary of State Secretary of Transportation Secretary of the Treasury Secretary of Veterans Affairs Attorney General Fifty one. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to petition the government, freedom of religion, the right to bear arms. Seventeen. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House, of Representatives. 30. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President. 49. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Serve on a jury vote in a federal election. 68. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomatist member of the Constitutional Convention First Postmaster General of the United States Writer of, Poor Richard's Almanac, started the first free libraries. 3. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. 7. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. 65. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. The Founding Fathers wrote the Constitution. 4-0. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Visit USCIS.gov slash citizenship slash test updates for the name of the Chief Justice of the United States. 91. Name one U.S. territory. 92. Puerto Rico U.S. Virgin Islands American Samoa Northern Mariana Islands Guam. 89. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific, Ocean. 44. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that D.C. is not a state and does not have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories should name the capital of the territory. 12. What is the rule of law? Black small square everyone must follow the law Black small square leaders must obey the law Black small square government must obey the law Black small square no one is above the law. 34. Who vetoes bills? The President. 84. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement. 
90. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic, Ocean. 47. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Visit USCIS.gov slash citizenship slash test updates for the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives. 79. Who was President during World War I? Woodrow, Wilson. 32. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President. 8. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence, from Great Britain, declared our independence, from Great Britain, said that the United States is free, from Great Britain. 4-1. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money to declare war to create an army to make treaties. 25. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of, the state's population, because, they have more people, because, some states have more people. 83. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. 93. Name one state that borders Mexico. California Arizona New Mexico Texas 38. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court 97. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state because each star represents a state because there are 50 states. 48. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older, can vote. You don't have to pay. A poll tax, to vote any citizen can vote. Women and men can vote. A male citizen of any race, can vote. 86. What major event happened on September 11, 2001, in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. 50. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election run for federal office. 73. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War th War between the states. 88. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri, River, Mississippi, River. 52. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States the flag. 96. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies because the stripes represent the original colonies. 72. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. 
War of 1812 Mexican-American War Civil War Spanish-American War Fifty-four. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. Fifty-eight. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom, political liberty, religious freedom, economic opportunity, practice their religion, escape persecution. 2. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government defines the government protects basic rights of Americans. 82. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general what war was he in? World War II. 28. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Visit USCIS.gov slash citizenship slash test updates for the name of the President of the United States. 61. Why did the colonists fight the British? 61. Because of high taxes, taxation without representation. Because the British Army stayed in their houses, boarding, quartering, because they didn't have self-government. 78. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I World War E Korean War Vietnam War Persian Gulf War 5. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. 22. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two years. 15. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The President. 7 7. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights, fought for civil rights. 66. When was the Constitution written? 1787. 18. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. 64. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. 19. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? 6 years. 21. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. 92. Name one state that borders Canada.
Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Washington, Alaska. One oh oh, name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day Martin Luther King Jr. Day President's Day Memorial Day Independence Day Labor Day Columbus Day Veterans Day Thanksgiving Christmas Fifty nine who lived in America before the Europeans arrived. American Indians Native Americans. Seventy-five. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves, Emancipation Proclamation, saved, or preserved, the Union led the United States during the Civil War. 67. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James, Madison, Alexander, Hamilton, John, J. Publius. 70. Who was the first president? George, Washington. 62. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas, Jefferson. 76. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves freed slaves in the Confederacy freed slaves in the Confederate states freed slaves in most southern states. 53. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Give up loyalty to other countries defend the Constitution and laws of the United States so be the laws of the United States serve in the U.S. military, if needed. Serve, do important work for, the nation, if needed, be loyal to the United States. 80. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin, Roosevelt. 42. Under our Constitution. Some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education pro vide protection, police, provide safety, fire departments, give a driver's license approve zoning and land use. 60. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans people from Africa. 7 1. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory, Louisiana. 87. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee Navajo Su Chippewa Choctaw Pueblo Apa Cherokees Creek Blackfeet Seminole continues. 89. Continues Cheyenne Arawak Shawnee Mohegan Huron Oneida Lakota Crow Teton Hopi Inuit. 74. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. 
Slavery Economic Reason States Rights Eighty five. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights, worked for equality for all Americans. Sixteen. Who makes federal laws? Congress, Senate, and House of Representatives, U.S. or National Legislature. This is the end of the 100 questions. Practice as much as you can until you feel confident. Remember, you will need 6 out 10 correct. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and good luck.